You need to have energy while you're working. This is perhaps the most important thing of the entire pantry. That is where we keep the candy. Hey guys, Vanessa here with The Soul Restored, where I help bring sanity back to every aspect of your life. Today is organization. As part of my getting organized to be more efficient in the new year, I am going to organize my pantry. We have not lived in this house for super long, and so I haven't really established a great system. But what I'm going to show you today is how to take all of this clutter and really get a system going so that not only is it clear where everything goes, everything has a place, and each member of your family, my family, it's obvious where things go, and so it's easier for us to put those things back in their place every single time. Obviously, there's a lot of habits that go into that, but when you start with a clean slate and you have a place for everything, everything can go in its place. First of all, before you tackle all of this mess, you need to have a game plan in place. Otherwise, you're gonna be spending twice as much time doing this when really, I could do this entire pantry in 15 minutes. And that's what I'm going to do today because that's all the time that I have. And realistically, that's all the time that you have as well. So don't make something take longer that you just don't have time for and then there's food everywhere and it's just an overwhelming mess. Give yourself a time limit and get her done. So this is my game plan. So this is my map of how I want to organize my pantry. Basically, I want to focus my attention on two things. The first thing is making sure things are user friendly for my kids. So the things that they reach the most are here and here so that they can get all the foods that they need without having to get a ladder or step stool so that they can eat and be self-sufficient. I love having my kids be self-sufficient. I need the things that I access the most to be at arm's reach for me. Then things that I don't access as much and kind of storage things, extra things that I don't need as much but would like to have up here instead of in my basement storage room. Then for easy access, I like to keep my broom and shovel, I mean mop, yeah, use your imagination on my artistry there, and vacuum, and then we have our lunch boxes. Also, I like to keep grocery sacks. This is what I refill all of my garbages around the house with, and um, maybe dirty diapers can go on in these extra sacks. I love to keep grocery sacks handy all the time and for my kids. Then if you have really big containers of flour and oats or sugar, other things like that, I like to keep them on the bottom as well because that way I can just open the lid and get to them. I don't have to be lifting them and having to deal with all of that weight. Okay, so let's get to it. First of all, I need to take things out of the cabinet you do not need to do more than a shelf at a time. Because first of all, that would be more hassle than it's worth. You don't need to be adding more clutter to your kitchen, just do one shelf at a time. Let's start. And remember, fruit snacks, energy. Another tip, choose a stepping stool that is not so shaky. <laughs> you don't wanna break a hip while you're at it. No, I do not have an addiction to peanuts. My dad does. But he gave me all these containers. Um, I really do have too many, but I wanted to collect these to keep different ingredients in that I need a lot of, but I don't necessarily want a huge bucket full of. So for instance, some of the things I'm going to be putting in here will be salad fixings, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, croutons, Asian noodles, peanuts of course, trail mix for the kids, treats and snacks for them. We put pretzels in here. That way things stay totally fresh and they're really, really good for the kids so that the kids can access them. So you guys can now see I have a lot more room up there. So really I can put other things or just stock what is important to us 
and you can see the essentials up there cake mix brownie mix and over here we've got some coconut milk we have some dairy-free people let's get on to the second shelf Also, when you get organized, this is an awesome time to get rid of things that are ancient, like cans of peaches that your mom canned at a cannery near here, like a bazillion years ago. Now goes fruit and veg. Obviously don't put things all the way to the back of the shelf if you don't have that many. Also another tip would be to use can racks. You can buy them in tons of different sizes. You can buy them for this. And I will be doing that in the future. But right now, because I don't have them, it's just as easy to pile them on top of each other and to slide them all the way back because I generally have enough to go all the way to the front of the shelf. And if you don't, slide it forward. Simple as that. Another reason to use can racks is to eliminate waste. You're constantly feeding the back and the old is coming to the front. So it's recycling so that you're not just dealing with the front cans and forgetting about the back. I'm done with my step ladder and thank goodness I had it because my wobbly bar stool was making me nervous. <clears throat> okay, we've got the first shelf done, the second shelf with all of our beans. Now we're on to the third shelf where we put other meal prep things like rice, pasta, soup mix, and ready-made meals. Okay, I love these bins. I think I would have chosen blue to go in my new blue kitchen, but we did used to have red. Anyhow, these are just from the dollar store and they're awesome. And I put fruit snacks, granola bars, oatmeal packets, soup mixes. Oh, the squeezable baby food I'll put in here. Tons of different things. When you have a moment to eat shelf, just go ahead and take your wet rag and wipe it down. And while you're at it, get your jackhammer out for the drips of honey and maple syrup. By the way, this basket right here is what houses our napkins, straws, and paper products. Can someone please tell me why it's necessary to glue the mac and cheese down to this cardboard. I, I don't understand the point of that. <clears throat> okay, so other than some buildup on the counters because of things that I've taken out of the cupboard, I am making some serious progress in here and things are looking super nice. And one of the best parts of organizing is I can see the foods I do have, the foods I don't have, and then I get to go to my favorite place, Costco, and fill her up. So I'm really glad um, that I'm doing this today and that I'm showing you guys this. We just have three more shelves to go and they'll go by really quick. Another benefit to cleaning out your pantry is finding little gems like this. Disposable baby bibs. Empty peanut butter. Yeah, thank you. Apparently, 
apparently we go through a lot of peanut butter over here. Okay guys, I said these would come in handy. So I have these pumpkin seeds for salad, so I'm just gonna put these in here. There's not very much, but I know that I'll be filling this up all the way so that we can have that on hand all the time. Sunflower seeds. We're done with this. Of course, I need to buy some more snacks, badly. And we've got our fruit snacks and granola bars, so we're good to go there. Now, let's get to this fifth shelf. Part of this process is putting things in, finding new things, and putting them in their places because as I move things from shelf to shelf, I find more things that belong on another shelf. So it's just part of the game. Now that fourth shelf is put together and I got to use my little nut bins. And then we've got our cereal and breakfast. And I want you to notice that I'm a genius and I put the syrup in one of those little containers so that if it drips, I can just take that out and put it in the dishwasher and I don't have to worry about scraping it off with a knife from the shelf. More pasta. Okay, I want you to notice down here, I have a bag of grocery sacks and then right next to it, I have a bag of paper grocery sacks right here. Those are always super handy for replacing the garbage sacks in the mini garbages around your house and for taking things on the go. Then in these two metal bins I've got grains because I like to easily I like to easily restock the smaller clear storage bins I have in my baking cupboard. That way I don't have to lug around huge buckets of grain from down in my storage room. All right, guys, there you have it. Let's take a step back and look at the finished product. Looks awesome. I am super happy about what I was able to get done today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was super helpful. I love organizing and I love doing anything that's going to create more peace for me and my family and of course, bring back sanity in our lives. If there's something that you guys want me to show you how to organize, please let me know. Go ahead and comment below and I would love to do a video that would help meet your, yours and your family's needs. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.